Greetings and welcome back. This is going to be the first of several videos about AutoCAD Electrical taken from a control design standpoint. This video is going to talk about projects and project files and then subsequent videos will talk about how to create projects, how to implement them, how to add wires, everything you're going to need for AutoCAD Electrical. So if you're interested in this topic, make sure you stay tuned like and subscribe so that you'll get each one of the videos that I make in this series. Let's take the next few minutes to get acquainted with AutoCAD Electrical projects and project files. First of all, AutoCAD Electrical is a specialized version of Autodesk's AutoCAD program tailored for electrical control designers and engineers. It offers tools and features specifically designed to streamline creation, modification, and documentation of electrical control systems. In AutoCAD Electrical, a project is a comprehensive collection of related electrical drawings and documentation that represent the electrical design and schematics for a specific electrical system or installation. Here are some key aspects of a project in AutoCAD Electrical. First of all, organization. It's best to create an organizational structure for your work before beginning to work with AutoCAD Electrical. Having folders and subfolders in place before you begin will help keep your designs organized from the beginning. To demonstrate this, we'll look at what AutoCAD has done with theirs. So this is AutoCAD's structure. I've, divin I've kind of cruised down in here a little bit. And they've got several different structure or folders that they've created here for um, different projects. And the one that I'm going to look at is this NFPA demo. So you see that they've already created a folder for NFPA demo. And if I open this folder, you'll see that there are drawings and a few other files in here as well. Now, it's not just limited to one folder. You can have a folder and then you can have subfolders in there as well. It just depends on your organization and what it is that you want to do. But it's very important to have that structure in place before you begin. The next thing we want to talk about is this project file. It's a, it's a text file with the extension .wdp. The core of the AutoCAD electrical project is this project file with the WDP extension. The WDP file is a text file that lists the drawing files that make up the set of interrelated drawings, but it's more than that. It also uh, maintains information about how the drawings are related. It has information that could be included in the title block, where they're going to be stored, and all that type of information. Every time you make a change to one of your drawings and how they're related to each other, it updates this WDP file. So let's take a look at this WDP file. You'll see here that I've got this WDP file right here in FPA demo. If I right click on it and I choose open with notepad, it just opens up a text file that has some information in it. And it's all along the bottom here with, you know, or along the side with numbers telling what each of the different settings could be. And then down at the bottom, it has a list of all of the drawings and some uh, and, and some organizational stru structure. So you'll see that there's a subfolder for schematics or at least a subdivision for schematic drawings and then um, another one for panel drawings. Okay, so there's panel drawings down here as well. But this file is not something that you need to open and modify. Autodesk AutoCAD will automatically modify this file as necessary as you work in AutoCAD. Drawing files. A project includes multiple drawing files, each containing different parts of the electrical schematics, such as power distribution, control circuits, PLCs, panel layouts, and more. AutoCAD Electrical maintains the relationship between all wires, components, and representations on all pages of a drawing. These pages are linked and coordinated through that project file. So if I come in here, for example, and we look at that in FPA demo, I can come over to the project manager. Okay, this on the left-hand side is the project manager. The one at the top, NFPA demo, is the current project. 
on the left hand side here I can click on the little plus to expand it and you'll see that there are two subsets in here there's schematics okay these are all schematic drawings and then there are panel drawings okay right now I have demo 02 is the active drawing open okay if I want to skip to the next or the previous drawing I can come up here and I can use these buttons right here so if I say previous project drawing I can click on that one and it will close NF or demo 02 and open demo 01 so this is kind of like maybe an overview just of what everything is going to look like then I can go to the second drawing which takes us to that uh, line drawing where it has your hot power coming in and, and then some different pump information and then your panel information over here I can skip to number three and so on or if I wanted to I could come all the way down here and I could just double click on demo 08 and open this panel drawing so this is the panel layout showing the front view of the panel and the side view of the panel and how the buttons would be situated it also has down here at the bottom a, a schematic or a, a bill of materials for all of the different buttons that might be used but all of these different drawings are all related and they're all organized by that WDP file that we looked at a moment ago project settings the project file contains global settings and configurations that apply to all of the drawings within the project these settings include drawing templates title blocks, layer standards, wire numbering, component tagging, and more. You'll be learning about those as we go through this set. Component and wire management. AutoCAD Electrical um, projects facilitate the management of all of the components in the wiring. It ensures consistent component tagging, wire numbering, and cross-referencing across all drawings. Now, what do I mean by that? If we come back in here, for example, <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and close this drawing. And let's back up to demo 02. In demo 02, for example, if I zoom in here, you'll see that there are different components. There's fuses, okay, um, and then there's um, outlets and ampers and all those kinds of things. But this light for example this red light is on operator station 3 it's light number 225 it's a red light okay and when this light is on you know or when this when this light is lit up it means that the power is on but this light exists not only on this drawing but it exists on another drawing as well if i want to see how they are related i can come up here to this surfer tool click on the surfer and then click the object that I'm interested in. I'm interested in this light. When I do so, it tells me all of the places that it's actually installed. So right now I'm looking at this one, but if I could, if I click right here and choose go to, <clears throat> oh, I'm on this one already. If I click on this one and choose go to, it'll take me to that page right there. Okay. And I can choose close now. And that same light is this one right here. AutoCAD Electrical recognizes that it's the same light even though it looks much different in this drawing as it does on the previous drawing. Okay, so on this drawing it looks like this. On this drawing it looks like this. AutoCAD Electrical recognizes that it's the same object. If I make a change to it here, AutoCAD Electrical will automatically make the change in the other location as well. Reports and documentation. The project can generate various reports and documentation such as bill of material, wiring lists, terminal plans, to from, all that kind of stuff. These reports help in the construction, assembly, and maintenance of the electrical system. Collaboration and coordination. If you have electrical, AutoCAD Electrical set up in a networked environment, projects in AutoCAD Electrical support collaboration among multiple users. Team members can work on different drawings simultaneously with changes <clears throat> and updates synchronized across the project. Navigating and searching. The project environment provides tools for easy navigation and searching within the project. You can quickly locate and open drawings, components, and wires using the project manager interface. 
Customization and Standards. Projects can be customized to adhere to specific industry standards or company guidelines. Again, things as simple or as mundane as what goes in the title block to as complex as how wires and components are numbered. Custom libraries, symbols, and templates can be incorporated to ensure compliance and uniformity. This concludes the overview for projects and the project manager in AutoCAD Electrical. In videos to come, we'll dive deeper into the project manager, we'll create new projects, uh, we'll add drawings to projects and remove drawings from projects, and we'll get a better understanding of how important projects are. Make sure to like and subscribe and then tune in for the next video.